We are here with Romario Williams on the phone right now from Montreal. Romario, how are you doing? Good, doing very good. Thank you. How are you guys doing back there? We're good. It's a nice day in uh, in Orlando today. It's beautiful outside. What's the weather like up there in Montreal? Uh, it's it's cold right now. I mean, it's been it's been worse, but it's definitely going into spring. So it's definitely warming up, but it's still cold outside. I'm bearing it. It's been good so far. Congratulations for seeing your first MLS action in a regular season game, uh, most recently against Orlando City. Tell us a little bit about how that felt to get into a regular season game so soon into your professional career. Oh, it felt great. It was a tremendous feeling, to be honest. Uh, the coach, they told me during the week leading up to the game that my chance would be coming over the weekend. And, I mean, that entire week I was just prepared. I was prepared and my, my entire focus was towards the game, knowing that that would be a special mark for me and my family and everyone who has supported me over the years. It was a pretty good experience and I enjoyed every bit of it. Was that kind of weird that it was against Orlando and you went to school at UCF? Oh, uh, yes, it was, a little, it was a little bit weird, to be honest. But, I mean, that's the nature of the game, you know. Things do happen like that and you just got to go on with the situation and get with it. Now, you're a native of Jamaica. Talk to us about what made UCF your choice when you were looking for a college. I mean, it's, it had a lot to do with the weather. One, two, closure, uh, family, the distance from home. It had a lot of, there was a number of factors that played part in my decision why I chose Central Florida. And my family and I thought it would be the best fit for me. And that's why we decided to go ahead with that offer. And you certainly were a standout during your career with UCF, the American Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year during your sophomore year. Tell us about your experiences with the Knights. Uh, my three years at Central Florida has been nothing but remarkable. Uh, I enjoyed every bit of it there from my freshman year on to my junior year. Uh, the entire staff, uh, from my coaches to the student services and everyone there, they just provided us a platform for all student athletes and they made us comfortable as possible and uh, I was can express how thankful I am for the three years that I spent there and uh, you know unfortunately I had to move on to pursue my career dream and but it, it would always Central Florida would always be a place in my heart because I had three very good years there. How did you grow as a soccer player during your time with UCF? Uh, I did I did I did grow tremendously I, I became more mature um on and off the field, and that's a huge thanks to Brian Cunningham, Mauricio, who has left on to Jacksonville, uh, Will Clayton, who is there also, and Auntie, who has also moved on. You know, those four guys there, they did a very good job with the team, and also players and managing the players and all that stuff, and it's a huge thank you to them for helping me develop my game and get it to the next level. What would you say was the big difference between playing college soccer and playing in the pros? It's a big difference. It's much more physical at the pros. Uh, it's more physical. It's much faster. You gotta, you gotta think twice ahead uh, before you see the ball. And know what you're gonna do. You gotta have at least two to three options. The things that you did at the college level in terms of time and and space, and you might get away with it at the college level, but at the pro level, you gotta be proactive. You gotta be quick and know what you're gonna do with it because you don't have that much time and space on the ball. Do you think that UCF prepared you well to go to the pros? Absolutely, absolutely. I think the coaching staff, they provided good training sessions, and the training sessions were good. The physical, the physicality of the sessions were there. The guys, we tried to push each other as much as possible in, in the sessions, and it definitely prepared me somewhat for the next level. Even though here, it, it's been a transition phase for me, and it's definitely something I'm getting accustomed to. But each day I come in, I'm getting better and better at it, so it won't be too long until... I'm fully accustomed to it, but there's definitely more room to grow. It was only a couple of months ago you were selected third overall in the MLS Super Draft, one of just five underclassmen available. When did you learn about it, and how did you how did you get the news? Uh, the news was first brought to me on New Year's Eve. That's when I first got the news, and that's that was a tremendous time for me and my family, and couldn't be a better way to bring in the new year. It was, I mean, we were all ecstatic, and we were all looking forward to this new chapter in my life. You know, the Orlando Lions have really come on strong uh, in Central Florida in only a couple of years. That time frame that w they were here was about the same time that you were playing with UCF. Can you ever have imagined that Orlando would be host to an MLS team in such a short period of time? Uh, the, the funny thing is behind it, when I came to Central Florida my freshman year in 2012, that's when I think they first broke the news that Orlando City would be a 2015 expansion team. And, you know, at that point it was 
balls to the wall for me. It was everything that I do is to prepare for the what if, you know, this could be a possibility and all that stuff. So, How do you like playing in Montreal? What, do you like the city of Montreal and, and all that? Oh yeah, it's it's a very it's a very wonderful city, you know. I mean, besides the cold, it's it's really good. I mean, it's my first time in Canada, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. You know, it's a beautiful place. The city is wonderful. Very good, very good people, nice people, and I can't wait for so much time here to see what the city has to offer. The season is still early, but you're going to have an opportunity to travel all across the country visiting various cities, also some cities in Canada. That's quite the change from uh, from being a part of a collegiate soccer program. Absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's, that's one thing for sure I'm also looking forward to, is just to travel across the country, Canada, and get to know the different cities the way I did when I was in college in the States. And what do you think Montreal's chances are this MLS season? What kind of club do you have? I mean, we have the we have the talent, and we have the players, and we have a lot of experience in the locker room. Players who have done it at the highest level and outside of this league, overseas in Europe. So I think once we have the right attitude and the players work together as a group collectively, I think we can do something really special this year. As you know, we're in the semifinals, preparing for the second leg of the CONCACAF Champions League. Hopefully we can pull out the result and get into the finals. That would be big for us and also I think we could possibly be a playoff team and then whenever that time of the year comes I mean we take it from there. What would you say to UCF fans who followed your career while you were here in Orlando? What's your message to them? I just want to give them a big thank you for all the love and support over the three years and I'll always be a knight. Awesome. You're in the pros. What was that like, the whole transition all the way through from a young kid to now? What did that teach you about life in general? Never take anything for granted. You know, every opportunity that you get, be ready, be prepared to make the most of it. You know, you just got to grab each and every opportunity that comes your way with both hands and work as hard as you possibly can. Because you dream, for me, I mean, at the age of 20, going 21, I mean, not a lot of people out there that get the chance to live their dream at such a tender age, you know. And for me, I'm truly blessed and thankful for what the Lord has given unto me and it's truly a blessing and the work the work has just begun you know the work has just begun and hopefully one day I can look back and say I gave him my best shot and I had the best career possible awesome that's all that you can do thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate it how can people follow you can they follow you on Twitter are you on there yeah yeah sure they can follow me on Twitter B-A-L-L-A-K-I-D-R-O-M-R-O-M Balakitaramram So, you know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. We don't need to know about your fun-filled weekend in the city of sin, but we hope you'll click the ad on our website. It's right there to the left, the one that screams you have to save up to 50% off your next trip to Vegas. Just click on the ad and we promise never to talk about what happened in Vegas.